Chappy Gray here from the Scam Pond. I think you know what's coming, but let me give you a little bit of the scoop. When you find a team to work with that has the same passion, work ethic, and common goal of helping others with a side of humor, you stick with them. So if anybody knows anyone out there like that, can you have them give Scam Pond a call? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Clearly, I'm talking about Trilogy Media and Monopole Scam Baits. On today's wild ride, we team up and go after Kevin 2.0. We had two busts in one day, and this one is not short on ups and downs with a little bit of chapsizing. You'll see Monopole outsmart this scammer, get four money mules as he's stolen from one scammer to the next. Mata takes full advantage of this, starting with looking through his AnyDesk screen, finding his location, and using social engineering to turn this into a cash shipment. From there, I hop in for a little bit of chapsizing. I then volley it over to my brothers, Art, Ash, Sean, and Connor, at the one and only Trilogy Media. They jump right on in, and we move in unison as a team to put a plan together and confront another refund money mule on our terms. Sit back and enjoy another Modern Trilogy Scam Pond collaboration. And after this, stay tuned because we're going to have our first of many Scam Pond Q&A interviews with all the players. Well, I have a word to Miss Suzanne. He providing me your name that uh, if she is not present in the home, so might be you uh, going to be cancel the service, right? Right. Cool. Okay, so you're all, you're ready to do this. Um, yeah, of course, sir. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So now, sir, uh, in order to cancel the service, sir, you need to be in front to your computer, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm in front of it. In fact, I am looking at the invoice. It's for three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, sir. Now have a look, sir. Left hand side, bottom corner on your computer screen, you will be see there is an option. Any deck dot exe in the interactive access there is a three option so you need to ch check the third one never show incoming session request you need to disable okay. the auto renewal setting click on never show incoming session request okay i did okay now wait for a moment let me pass the message to my technical team now okay. scroll down the page little bit now wait do you see any option over there? Uh, restart my device, enable privacy mode. Yes. Yeah, restart yeah. my device. Right. Yeah, you need to check mark on enable privacy mode. Enable privacy mode. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me tell you one thing, sir. Do you remember how like RAM and uh, ROM? Oh, R A M RAM and. Okay. Now, I what have... do you see on your computer screen? Well, the screen looks like the screen just turned off. It's bl completely black. Okay, dark. Okay. No. Yes, because it's right it's now what happened? Your computer is restarting. Yeah. Oh, it's restarting. Okay. Yeah, your, com your computer is restarting. So you need to do one thing. Leave your computer for a moment. Our robotic server activate. Okay. So now just uh, do okay. one thing, sir. You need to uh, open and minimize that page. So just simply minimize it down that page. Okay, now once again open the Google Chrome, a fresh one, not the same one, a fresh Google Chrome browser. Once you see any changes, let me tell you one thing, Mr. Walter. If you see any changes on the screen, first you need to let me know, okay? Because right now I'm not looking your screen. Over the phone, I'm only guiding you. So okay. if you help us, so I, I will promise you I'm going to be rectified that. Uh, I'm going to be like to cancel the subscription. And do you remember? Like when did you activate your Geek Squad subscription? Date, any time? Remember? We never did. I, that's why we're, I'm confused why we're being charged. Okay, I understand. Because let me tell you, sir, get the service of Geek Squad, which you have, uh, it is an inbuilt service. And when we're removing the inbuilt service, uh, so your computer needs restart. And why okay. it well no if restart. I need to if, if we need to reset it, we have a special C D or disc or I mean USB stick 
It just resets yes, the I computer from scratch. I'll use that if I have to. <laughs> well, no issue about it. Let me tell you. What, it, right now, the restart, it is called cancellation restart. Because uh, right now, we are going to remove the service into your computer system. And once okay, we well, remove we the just, inbuilt service... We just need our money back. I don't have that much time. I'm here at my on my lunch break. To get the refund, okay. that's all I'm interested and how in. Much, sir, and how much time you have? If you give me an idea, uh, so I will uh, do my 30 best. Minutes, 30 minutes. Th sir, within in 10 minutes, we are going to be provide you the cancellation refund form, but okay. we need to... We need to don't, confirm. Don't to don't make any do not make any changes to the computer. We're we're gonna re we we're are gonna not re going to be make any. Mr. Walter, gonna, listen to me, sir. We're sir, resetting sir, 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 sir. it. Just, we're gonna reset it to tonight. I'm gonna reset it. Mr. Walter, if you give me the chance to speak, so let me clear to you. Okay. 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 Now, first of all, calm yourself. Now, right okay. now, sir, we are only removing our service into your computer system and as you talking about the um, money so i need to confirm the amount to my billing team because right now my billing team only that they are to letting me know that the amount was deducted or not because right now i am not sure that your amount is deducted or not so that is the reason i need to confirm and how i'm going to be confirm it i need the order ID number. So once you see your computer is back, you need to log in into your email, give me the order ID number, then I pass okay. the order ID number to my billing team, then they're going to be confirm me that the amount is deducted or not. If the amount okay. deducted, of course, you're getting back the amount as a refund. Well, the amount is three forty nine ninety nine, um, and it's in my email. So, so Okay. Three Three hundred forty-nine dollar dot ninety-nine cents, right? Right, right. Okay. So, what is the order ID number? You need to tell me the order ID number. I need to open the email because it's inside of the email. So you you but want you want your computer, right? You want your computer to log in into your email, right? Right. I can't see anything. It's a black screen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know that it's a black screen, and why it's black? Because your computer is restarting. So now. Within a few while, you are getting back your computer screen, okay? Just give me a moment. Allow me a few while because it just needs two or three minutes to restart all the operating system which you have in your computer. Okay, you need to tell me the order ID number first. It's right in front of you. Look, read it. Sir, I'm not looking at your screen, sir. So how could I'm going to you, letting you know? I saw you, you moving the mouse. No, sir, no, we are not moving the mouse, sir. The robotic server automatically oh, removing the server. service. So my billing team letting me know that the amount was successfully deducted. So I just typed the message to my billing team and letting him know that my customer want to get that money. So my billing right. team letting me know, of course, if the customer want to get the money, so you need to guide how the customer is getting the money. So right now, I'm going to be guide you how you get your refund. So now, sir, first of all, in order is there to any way, the refund... Is there any way you can speed you this up? You are talking 20 words for every word you only need to speak. You've talked too fucking much. Open your much. Google Chrome. You've talked open too fucking much. Open your Google much. Chrome. Okay, it's open. Open your Google... It's open! In the ad... We don't really have landlines anymore. Could I just put my cell phone for both? <laughs> Yeah, of course, sir. And in the landline, don't put any special character, any special letter, only the number. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, I don't know anybody on this earth that has a landline. What century are you part of? The 20th century? Well, most of the, yes, sir, most of the customer use landline. No, they That's don't. That's the reason we provide that option. No, they don't. Only idiots use landlines. And Arizonians and only idiots and people in Arizona use landlines. Uh, so don't tell that, sir, sir. We are a human being, sir. And you know that, sir. Uh, that's not a good. I'm kidding. Because I'm uh, I kid. have. A, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I I'm have also kidding. have a landline to my grandparents' home because they no, don't know I, about the technology. 
I'm in a rotten mood today. I don't I don't mean to be so rotten, okay? <laughs> and what phone you have, sir? It is a Android phone or it is an Apple phone? Uh, Motorola. It's a $20, $25 special from Walmart. $25 special from, and it is a smartphone or it is a, like a uh, normal phone? No, it's just one of those, you flip it open and you can make phone calls. Oh, flip phone. I, I prefer it because my, my wife, Susan, I got her an iPhone for her birthday three years ago. And you know what she did with it? You bought, I you bought her bought an iPhone. An iPhone. She dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> she dropped in the toilet. <laughs> this refund is being processed. Please log into your account to verify. And then it's got a transaction number. I got a notification. So I need to letting you know that your refund is being processed. Okay. As for the verification, our billing team sending you a one-time online refund link. And that link is coming on your online account, your bank account. So what you need to do, you need to simply go ahead and log in into your account. And once you are logging into your account, you're getting a pop-up. Accept refund or decline refund. So what? once you receive the... Okay, let me tell you. Say that as again. As for the refund pro Okay, sir. As for as the for refund the procedure. Refund procedure. Our our billing team simply sending you a online link. It's online called link. one time refund link. Okay. And that link is coming on your online banking account. From your side, once you click on accept refund so your amount is transferred into your account without providing any detail. So what you need to do, simply go ahead, log in into your account. Once you are logged in, let me know, yes, Sam, I am logged in. Then I'm going to be passed the message to my billing team. Then they're going to be send you the link number. So once you log in, do let me know. I'm holding the line for you. Okay. Okay, Mr. Walter, I got a notification from my billing team. The line, it is automatically going to transfer to the billing team because the billing team is going to send you the link and they want to verify some question like the order, uh, like the order number and the refund, sorry, or the cancellation ID number, which I told you to write it down, which you received your address number, might be they're going to be verify you. So give me right. a moment. Let the line I, going wait, to be Wait, before you go, before you go, can I recommend you do something? Yes, of course. Learn how to speak fucking English. You don't. You don't do it very good. You, 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 you have crappy English. Learn how to speak it. Yeah, I know. Me, I know, sir. Because what happened? What happened? Some. You don't. Sometimes, you don't. You, uh, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't be working on this job until you're trained. You need to learn how to speak fucking English. Thank if you, you give me the chance, I want to learn English to you. From well, it's going to it's it's take uh, you at least a year. Can teach me. Sir, sir, Mr. Walter, let me tell you one thing. Dude, let I have limited one time. One I have, li I have limited fund, time. I'm going I, to be call you. After transfer fund, me. I'm going to be call you from my... Okay, okay. Jesus. You suck at English. Good day. You're speaking to David, David William. I'm the refund I, officer I out here. Now, I believe, sir, I... Are you handy with a piece of a paper and a pen with you? Yeah, I have pen and paper. Write down my name. My name would be David. David William. David William. Got it. Yeah, give me a moment. I don't have much time. I'm on, I'm on my lunch break. I Just have to... give me a second. This is it. Okay. Okay. Just finishing a call here. Okay, but I don't have much time. I'm, I come home from my lunch to do this. Now, right now, I'm going to proceed with a refund of $350 into your account. Before I go ahead and proceed the refund on that account, ending with 2600, I would like you to make a note of the balance of that account in a piece of a paper. Because okay. once you write down the balance of that account, why I'm telling you to make a note of it, it is quite obvious. Once I will transfer you the funds, the balance will get changed. All right? Yeah, that's expected. Thank you. All right. So as I'm not authorized to see your screen, so similarly, the way I'm going to log into my bank, you wouldn't be able to see our screen. That is for the security purpose. I hope you don't mind. He downloaded an extension that apparently 
makes it when you inspect an element it stays that's kind of frightening that is i didn't realize such an extension existed they transfer a large amount from savings to checking and then they use a tool called the inspection tool to alter the balances so they look like nothing changed and that makes you think that they overpaid you by three hundred and thirty five thousand dollars it's an it's a sickening thing they do and i just love to demonstrate it so that people who don't know can now know how it works idiots are using a bright well, sir, green are you screen there? yes i'm here all right now i'm done filling out the form now within a while you will be getting a payment portal box from our global live portal okay in that box you will be asked for three security questions like your name your bank name and the amount okay, okay. now okay. once you answer that your refund money will be processed right away into your account so once you see your screen back just tell me david i got my screen uh yes I have, wow that burns my eyeballs but yeah i have my screen you can you can see something on your screen Yes, it's hard to read, but I can see it. If you can wear a glass, sir, you can read well. I prefer you to wear a glass. I am wearing glasses. I will try to, you know, make it bigger for you. It's, it's not a size thing. It's a poor choice color. Green, blue on green doesn't go, doesn't work. Uh, welcome to the Geek Squad Global Refund Live Portal. Right, that is our live portal. In that box, that you will be asked for the security question. So underneath that, they are asking you a question. So what is the question? It's, it isn't a question. It just says receiver name. That is the question. All right. So you need to okay. answer that. You need to type in your name without making any mistake. If you make mistake, the money can go to the wrong person into the wrong account. So just I, type I just, your name in there and I, let me know. Okay. I'm typing and it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything? No. Just try to type. It will work. Oh, now it's working. Now it's working. And once you're done, don't press enter, sir, after that. Don't press, okay. Okay, well, you should have said don't press enter. Now what it says? It says error. Error. Why it happened error? Because you press enter. You so never now told the question me. will appear. You, ne you never okay, told me. Problem. You got to tell sorry. me. Now the question. Okay, now the question will appear shortly. Congratulations, your name has been confirmed for the refund, okay? Okay. Now, once you see any new question there, just let me know, okay? Receiver bank name. So um, you have so to type the bank name there, okay? Okay, you just type C and deleted it, so I'm allowed to delete? No, 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 you're not allowed to delete. It can be deleted automatically, okay? It can be deleted automatically. That makes zero sense. Sorry? Why would something be deleted automatically? I wouldn't know. Only I would be the one deleting. Actually, sir, it's an automatic live portal box, okay? So now after you type the answer there, what do you see? It says, um, conf conf okay, please wait, confirmed. So this confirmed. is using artif artificial, this is using artificial intelligence? Yeah, or auto, autofill, autofill. Okay, then you can fill it out. That way we're safer. No, no, no. I cannot fill that out, sir. You have to do that. Okay. Well, I can so see now you what type. is the next question? Okay, the I'm not typing. It is coming automatically, sir, from the server. So now what is the question? Receiver refund amount. All right. Now okay. on the receiver refund amount, don't type. Wait, okay. Your refund amount is three hundred and fifty dollar. Okay. So what you need to do is that, sir, right, you need to give a dollar sign and you need to type 350.00. I'm going to repeat one more time. You need to type 350. Give a dollar sign, 350.00. Now go ahead and type. Okay, I did 350. Now somebody else is typing. Okay, now have you done that? Nobody else can type on that box, sir, okay? You can type. Uh, it typed by itself, so I don't know how. No, it cannot be typed by itself, okay? Because I type three five zero. I type I type three five zero dot, and then it and then it erased the dot and put zero zero. 
Zero. No, a dot cannot be erased there. So now, have we done that? Yeah, it's, it says confirmed. Thank you. Please check your account. Oh, I wait think a minute. there's a mistake. Three, five, zero. zero. It Jesus matches Christ. what? One. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. $35,000, sir. Are you How kidding? How did that happen? How did that happen? I typed 350.00. Okay, wait. Look over here. Because uh, in the receiver refund amount, how many zeros there? Well, it says 35,000. I can clearly see it. Oh my god. Okay, you can clearly see it. Is there a dot? No. So I don't. Oh my I God! I think you missed the dot, and that's why it went thirty-five thousand okay. dollar into wow. your account instead of three hundred and fifty dollars. What the heck? Well, <laughs> can you mistake, believe it? Mi mistake happened. Can you? You can just undo it. Jesus I mean... Christ! I don't believe this. Now let me reconfirm one more time, if you don't mind, sir. Okay. Okay, so it's going black, and I still have, I have to wait for a. Te uh, uh, I have to get a text message. Yeah, yeah, sure, you can. It seems to be going black at the weirdest times. Why it is going black, I will tell you. Because, sir, the error happened into your account, and it's it was way it, too much money. It, it was going black before the error, though. Why? It was going black because of the security reason. Okay. 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 So once um, you see your screen we, back up, we, we need to let me know, sir. Okay? We need to resolve this soon. I, I, I have to leave for work in a couple of minutes. I understand that, sir. But right now it's a matter of money here, sir. You can understand that too. It's way too much money went to your account. I hope you understand. $35,000 is a drop in the bucket, dude. I'm not really worried about it. You are not worried about it, sir, but being as a company, company worries about every money, you know? Now, uh, what do you see? Can you see your bank there? Yeah, and I can clearly see $35,000 was deposited. So what, what you need to okay, do, right I imagine... Okay, right now, right now I, I, I think... I imagine I, you can reverse yeah, it. Okay. Now, right now, the thing is that my... Manager is calling me up for this mistake. So I have to explain them what exactly happened here. Okay. So okay. in the meantime, I would request you do not do anything. Don't touch anything. And don't try to log into your bank account from any of the device because okay. the IP address will get saturated and there might be a chance. Okay. Dude, the you, guys, you guys are you're talking too much. I, I'm, I have to go back to work here in a couple of minutes. Okay. Just, okay. Um, I can't. I can't stay for very much longer. I have to return to work. Uh, the th the thing is that he's talking to the manager right now. As you know, the mess is got happened. I and understand. And it's a way like, like there's a lot of money out there, so not, we have to. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that doesn't change the fact that I have to return to work. I mean, I, I have, I have an important um, job. I gotta, I gotta hello? return to it. Hello. Yes. Yes. This is David. No, I, I just had a word with my manager, okay? And he's okay. very upset whatever happened here. And he's just about to freeze your account. I said, no, 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 don't freeze don't the account. Don't freeze my account. Let me right, yes. I said, don't do that because uh, let me have a word with the customer. So, sir, I would request you, sir, you keep your money, which belongs to you, and the rest well, of the well. money, which is there in your account, you just return back to us. That's all we want, sir. Okay? I don't have a problem with that at all, okay? But right now, I'm going back to work. That's what's on my list of priorities. Um, I, underst I understand your concern here, okay? But you have to understand mine too. So you're not at home? Not anymore. I'm going back to work. I'm in my car. So did you shut off your computer? We're required to. We're not allowed to leave a plan. So when you will be back, sir? Um, I, I get home... I'll be home in about three hours. I get home at 4 p.m. Sir, by the time the bank will get closed, sir. 
My bank is open. able to get these funds back. My bank is open till till 5 p.m. and then I have the option of a satellite branch in Smiths to up to 7 p.m. So you have to go to the branch, sir, in order to transfer the money to us, sir, because there's no way that we can take up, take out the money from your account. That will be illegal. Okay. We cannot okay, so reverse this transaction. I understand. So when I get off work, I'll call you and we'll go straight to my bank. We'll have an hour to do it. Where are you so guys located? Words, you are saying Where, where's your office located? Our office is located in Pensacola. Now, the thing is that, sir, uh, right now, what I can suggest to you is that, sir, as because the error happened, okay? So, in the meantime, I would request to you, by the time this matter get resolved, don't try to log into your bank account. Because if oh, anything yeah. happened, if anything went wrong, so, again, that would be a huge, huge trouble for both of us. I so really can't. I, I really... To, I won't be able to. My phone is not a smartphone, and my work computers don't allow access to my bank, I, so I don't really okay, have a choice. Okay. And, and, and apart from you, who else uses the online banking? My wife. Is your wife available to resolve this issue, sir? No, she's a nurse, and she has a very hectic schedule. She wouldn't be able to come back sooner than you, right? No, she won't be home until pretty late tonight. We can rely on you, sir. I can trust on you. Okay, dude. You're a man of your word. I can trust. I will call but you. That I will call you when I get off work at four. That's in three hours. Should I reach okay. you at three fifty? Would that be perfect? It'd be rude because I don't clock off until four. Oh, so four o'clock would be convenient. I'm gonna call you at four. Yeah, please do that, sir. Okay. It's about my job. You can understand, too. Well, I, I'm sure your job's important, but mine's more important to me. I, but, yeah, sure. Please call me as soon as you finish off your work. I will. You got my word. Thank and you, sir. Also, don't don't feel in See, any sir, way. One thing, you, one thing you, I would you, like to tell you. One you thing have I my, would like to tell you, sir. You don't have forget. my word. What? God is watching you, sir. Of course. Of course God's watching me. You have my word. I will return this money to you, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate you. it. I'll Good get day, back sir. to you at 4 o'clock. Is this yes. Kevin? Yes, sir. This is Kevin once again. What's the code so, word? Are you? Or the, have you done with your work? What's the code word? It is your favorite color, green, right? Yep. Okay. You're the real Kevin. Okay. Want to make sure. Yes. Yeah, they're letting me go a little okay. early, so I thought I'd get started with you. Um, I'm in the break room right now. Um, I'm supposed to go to the bank and return $35,000 to you. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what will I do, sir? I will simply send you, I will simply send you the information, all right, where okay. you need to wire the money. Yes. Okay. Okay. That, that Just works. hold the line. Okay, we got a domestic mule account. So that sound you heard was the other scammer. When I tried calling him at two to see if he was still going to meet with me, the phone was disconnected. So I called the main number and talked to Kevin Thompson, who I'm actually on the phone with, and they told me he was fired. But now that other one is trying to call me. And so I just texted him and said, Kevin tossed me, Kevin Thompson told me you were fired. So sometimes scammers uh, steal victims from each other. I just got a call from, from Sam. Oh, you don't the, need to answer him, okay? Because he, he said he was fired. He, yes. So you don't need to talk to him, okay? All right. Oh, he, he said, okay, sir, I'm waiting for you. It's almost 4 p.m. So why is he doing okay, that if he's you, fired? Okay, the thing is that he just wants to do it from his own side. Okay, but you don't need to worry about that. Okay. So the thing is that I, I am here, I am online with you, and I'm going to okay. take care of this, and I'm okay. going to sort out and clear out everything, okay? And okay. Just for now, what you need to do is like, First, you block that number from which you have 
got the text. Did you get well, the text from him? Yeah, he said that's why I mostly he called me and then he left me a text. So okay. I just like I'll then do him. one thing. Just block just block that call. Okay? okay, so it won't bother you anymore. Just block that number. Okay. Okay, it's blocked. Okay, I gotta set the phone back down. Got another mule account, folks. Chappie called the fired scammer and he just gave her a domestic bank account. Yeah, that's crazy. So we got two. He's gonna keep calling you, by the way. He was like demanding he talked to you. And I said, Don't ever tell me what to do. Give me the info now and I'll have my husband call you. They not only gave me the name the bank account and routing number, they gave us the banking address and the and the the mule's mailing address. So it's it's a lot of information. Okay, I'm parking my car and turning it off. All right. We need to discuss something important. Okay. All right. So the thing is that, sir, you are doing this for our company. All right. You are helping out. Yeah, and right. You, all right. And you are saving someone's life. So our company is giving you a compensation of five hundred dollars. All right. Okay. So now you just need to wire thirty-four thousand and five hundred dollars. But before leaving to the bank, if the teller will ask you that why you are wiring this money and who is this person, you are wiring the money. What are you going to tell him? Well, I'm just going to tell him I was supposed to be getting a $350 refund. No, and no, no, some, no. Somehow, no, no. The thing other, that's, during okay, the, let, when let I was typing something. on the form, yes. it suddenly it looked like I didn't. Instead of thirty three five zero dot zero zero, it was thirty five thousand. Mm -hmm. So right. that it can was a, get a, a, a typo error on my part. Okay, can I say something? Yeah. Yes. Okay, sir. If you will say them this thing straightly, right? That you have got some extra money into your account, and you are refunding us our money, they might gonna charge you a tax of 20 percent which can Bank, cost what? you about banks don't yes, charge that banks do not charge no. tax where are you getting that no 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 the thing is that sir you have got an extra money all right and while refunding the money to a company okay they're gonna charge you that amount of money and i don't want ba you to pay a single penny from your pocket Banks can't okay. charge tax. There's no, there's no role in a, for a bank to charge a tax. Taxes are charged when a governing body orders them to charge tax. I really got your word, sir. But the thing is that I just want to tell you that if the bank going to know that this is not your money, you're refunding our money back to us, they might going to think that you're doing something wrong over here. Okay. No, so no, not at all. You, no, yes, it's you not, are a generous this, person. This, this has you happened to me. To no. Me. But if you will tell them that you have got an extra money and you are refunding that money, okay, they might going to think something bad has happened with you. No, they okay. won't. I'll just tell so them it was a typo. I just yes. tell them it was a yes, typo. Yes. It was a mistake but, on my part. I'll just say, I'll just I say really silly me. I really I'll say, I'll say silly me. Okay. Okay. If they will that's what I. Who that's is, exactly what I should tell them. Instead of thirty-five dot zero zero, I just did thirty-five zero zero zero. No, no dot. I'll say I've made, made a goof. Can you guys send it back to them? They'll say gladly. That's what they'll say. Will you let me speak so I can let you understand that what you need to do inside the bank? I just said what I need to do. They cannot charge really tax. Taxes are done by the government. There's no tax. Yes, sir. And we are affiliated by the Better Business Bureau. That is so the what? only reason. Better Business okay. Bureau because has better. You might as well be might as well be affiliated with Consumer Reports. Yes, That's the sir. same thing. So the thing that, is that Better Business the, Bureau is like, not a government agency. You don't want me to tell the yes. truth, is what you don't want me to do. Yes, sir. Yes, tell them that I am just repaying the loan of my friend, which I have taken four years ago. That's it. Nothing more than that. If they'll ask you if if somebody called you over the phone, if something has happened through the computer, tell them, no, nothing like that. 
Okay. I'm doing uh, this uh, wire on my own. I am okay. just repaying my friend's loan. Okay. 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 I don't. Okay, I don't want. Sir. I don't want you to lose your job. So I'm gonna put okay. you in my. I'm gonna put you in my pocket when we go in. Yes. That way you can. That way you can hear. But don't talk. Absolutely I don't want to hear, correct. I, okay. I, 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 I won't talk. To hear you. But just. But just remember one thing: never let them know that the something. Uh, something wrong happened. You got extra money in your account. Never let them know anything about that. Hi, um, I'm here. To, I need to to, uh, to wire uh, thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars. And what was the purpose of this? Um, I'm repaying some money that I borrowed from them about four months ago. This is a friend of yours. You know the person you're sending the money to. Yes, I do. Um, I. Converse with them regularly on Zoom meetings. Okay. Do you have uh, your friend's phone number? Uh, oh, heck. You know, I don't have that handy. Um, you mind if I step out and find it? Yeah, you don't have your friend's number that you're sending this much money to? Um, well, not really, because um, he moves around. So I, I mainly converse with him through Zoom. But there is a way I can get their phone number, I'm pretty sure. Okay, you go ahead. I need okay. to... Uh... Okay, cool. I'll be, I'll be pulling right up back. your account while you do that, sir. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Hello, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Hey, um, I don't know if you heard, but they're wanting me to supply yes, a phone I'll, number. I'll, yes, yes, you you could give my phone number to them. And tell them that he's on vacation right now. Don't call him at the moment. I don't think a form can do that. I'm having to fill out a, a an IRS form. Okay. <laughs> Plus the bank, plus the banker, the bank manager, does some kind of checkup. I don't really know, but I'll give them this number. Not a problem. Oh, this is the phone number that uh, they used when they opened the bank account, right? I mentioned that to them, and they said that the person um, is on vacation and don't try to call them. That's what I was told. But it's a valid phone number. Okay, as long as the phone number is associated with the account. It is okay. And what do you mean somebody told you to tell me he's on vacation? Did you speak to the person you're sending the money to or not? No, I haven't spoken to them since yesterday's meeting. I had a Zoom meeting yesterday. So who is it that told you to tell me something? Um, this is an associate. Okay, well, you do have the funds in your account, sir, but it looks like you took out $100,000 cash. Yeah, I... Uh... Decided um, to make an make an investment into something other than keeping it in a bank, and I thought buying gold would be a good idea. So I. Okay. Well, it, this is odd. So it looks like when you took out the hundred thousand dollars, you didn't complete the IRS form, and it's also a little odd that you said that you had to borrow thirty-five thousand dollars from somebody when you had this much in your account, and then you took it out and put it in your safe. Do me a favor, sir. Let me step out and talk to my manager for one minute. I'll be right back. Hey, she left the room. Everything's looking good so far, yes. just so you know. Okay, okay. Ne so. Never let them know that you are doing this wire for this, okay? Tell them that this is my money. I want to wire it. That's it, okay? Yeah, no kidding. All right? And if, they, and if they'll ask you that, whom you talked that time, tell them that they are their assistant. Okay, just tell them that. And you have given the number of the assistant, not the person whom you have done the Zoom meeting. All right? Okay, she's coming back. You need to be quiet. You need to be quiet. Okay. Who, who were you talking to a minute ago? I wasn't talking to anybody. Okay, because your lips were certainly talking. moving. You know, this is all glass. My office is all glass. We can see you from outside. I was okay. talking to myself. I talked to myself from now and then. Let me tell you what's happening, sir. I just spoke to my manager. Okay. Um, based on the inconsistency of your story and the fact that this phone number has never been associated with this account and you did not complete the IRS form needed when you took out $100,000, we're going to have to go ahead and freeze your bank account and both what? you and your wife's uh, debit cards have been frozen as well. Oh, you'll geez. be notified really? to come back down. Yes, yeah, sir. You'll you be notified to come you back can't down do that. in seven to ten days. What? And meet with my, meet with my management and the yeah. You get department. to meet with you can meet with my wife. That's your boyfriend have to come down with two forms wanna... of identification. Oh, oh man, you're asking for this. 
You I'll can't you freeze my account. Sir, so it's freeze. already been done? So it's been oh, frozen? Oh, jeez. So you'll be uh, notified to come back down. You said you have $100,000 in the safe, so I'm sure you'll be fine for seven days with that. It's the point. Uh, that the fact that you're hijacking, do... you're hijacking my money. Okay, I'm gonna, sir. Looks, to me like, to do. looks like to me the like I'm going to have department. a new bank next week. I'm going to have another that's, bank. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. The fraudulent department that's... is going to investigate this account that you're trying to send money to because uh -huh. that number does not match it. So... We are curious as to whether or not you actually know the person. So they are going to go ahead and investigate that account. And okay, make sure okay. Blah, 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 blah. Give me my ID back. There you go, sir. Thank You'll be you. be notified to come back thanks, in 7 to 10 days. Thanks, Do not use no your ATM thanks. cards as they will be eaten by the machine, sir. Have Goodbye. a great day. Bye. Jeez. Are you there? Yes, sir. I believe that something is wrong with that lady. She's a I crackhead, think... you know? She's a crackhead. Right? That, that's an understatement. Yes, yes, sir. She hijacked, she's the hijacking. What she is doing? She is using his powers in the wrong way, all right? She has the ability to do the wire, but she is not doing it. She is misusing her position in the bank. She is not doing the right thing. I'm going to go there and... I'm just going to talk to the manager of that bank and I'm going to let her sue from his from her job, all right? She's not doing anything r right over there. She is misusing her power, all right? No, no, okay, no, so... no, 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 this is what's, I mean, that's like the least of my worries. The problem is mm -hmm. about three months ago, I had, mm -hmm. I, lo I lost like $30,000 on, on Bitcoin mm -hmm. because of the FTX scandal. And so mm -hmm. my wife and I were trying to come up with the, another thing we can invest in. And all, the best we could come up with was for me to take $100,000 and put it in a safe and keep the money in our safe and not rely on banks so much and, and especially not Bitcoin, which we'll never do. Problem is, I got impatient because I couldn't just go to the bank and get the money. I had to wait three days. And then when I got, after three days, I went down to the bank and they made me wait two hours before I got my money. So they wanted me oh to sign God. a, they wanted me to sign a form. And I said, screw you. I have to get back to work. So I took the money and I told them, email me and I'll, I'll, I'll fill out your damn form. Apparently they were doing that, but my wife ignored them. So oh, that, okay. now they've. They froze the my thing account. Is that they are taking your account. They are using your money. They are giving loan to the other people, and they are doing business with your money. And they are treating you like that. You are their servant. This is totally not good, sir. This is not I acceptable. Know. I okay. know. All right. So they are doing we'll, everything wrong over there. Next next week, we're gonna we're gonna switch our money over to a different bank. And I've had it. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is that, apart from this bank, do you have any other bank with yourself? No. No, I don't. I will so the soon, only though. bank... The only bank I oh have is God. this Bank of America. And they, and they have freezed your account as well, right? Well, they froze it. Um, and like I said, if it weren't for the money I have at home, I'd be screwed because I have to pay rent still. Okay, right. and you I, said that you have took $100,000 from there? Yeah, we have that in our safe. As, as I heard from that banker, she said to you that it's going to take about 10 working days right. to, yeah, uh, this is me to give your account back. Right, so okay, wiring, the thing is that uh, it would okay. take 10, it, I wouldn't be able to wire you that money in 14 days. Oh, my God. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you, sir, is there is any Bitcoin ATM near to you? Bitcoin is, is any a, Bitcoin, a, bit, bit, Bitcoin ATM. is if I try, if I use Bitcoin, my wife will kill me. No, I opened up a a, a, a Bitcoin wallet mm -hmm. and then I funded mm -hmm. it at a Bitcoin machine and lost thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. I will never do that again. Okay, 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 okay. I really got I really got the words. Okay, I really got the words, but I'm just concerned about my company's money, okay. sir. 
Okay. Uh, that's, well, that's wait a minute. Wait, wait. Why, why don't I just take 34500 out of my safe and go buy postal money orders? I can then mail them to you. So you can just take that money out of your safe? Is it possible for you? Yeah, it's in my living room. Of course. Okay. Okay. So uh, the thing is that I'm just going to ask you that the thing is that you are sending our money back to us, correct? That's, right, that's what, that was the point of sending the wire transfer. Okay. All right. So the thing is that uh, you said to me that you have a nearest Bitcoin ATM near to you. And how far is this? Okay. That ATM, For, how far is that? I'm going to hang up on you if you say Bitcoin one no, more no, time. No, no, no. No, fuck oh, you. I'm sorry. I am not doing no, no, Bitcoin. No, no, no. Fuck you. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, first you do one thing. Be in your car and try okay. to come to your home. Okay. And I'm just going. to let me know once you're at your home. I'm online with you, okay? Yeah, don't, you say Bitcoin one more time, I will hang up. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a bad word. Okay, so I've been having a text conversation with the fired scammer. Where the hell you have been? You should have been home at 4 p.m. Talk to me once. I need to know what's wrong with you. I had to work overtime. That's good. What about the money, you fucker? I said, you have to wait until I get home. I know, fucker, you are making me fool. <laughs> okay, Chappie's going to tell the other scammer that I got called back into work and I had no choice. So we can work with him tomorrow. I don't know if that's such a good idea, but... Um, because if we get a cash money cash meal from him, this good next guy, which I'm thinking we're going to, um, we don't want to risk or there's, well, I'll talk to Chappie about it. Um, this new scammer's name is Kevin Thompson. And suddenly the other scammer started calling me from the number that was disconnected. Now Trilogy team is really cool. They, they've got the setup and they have the, Forte to literally go on site and meet some of the mules that we, we are getting. That PCH mule that we did recently, I don't think any other, I can't, I can't imagine any other YouTube person that would have done that with that kind of, of professionalism. Um, and they included Chappie, so Chappie could interview the mule. It was, it was perfect. Yeah, and they do have some really good videos up there. Um, the one I'm impressed with most is there we try we we tried to get a scammer arrested video. It's not because they got they didn't get the scammer arrested. It's the sheer determination that they had and facing disappointment. They never gave up. They never gave up, and that is the kind of collaborator that I want is I want someone as dedicated as Trilogy is. They, they are very dedicated to what they do. They put themselves into danger, putting themselves out into public. They actually flew to India, I mean. Are you home now? You think I'd get be home by now? Okay, I, I don't know where your brain is on this. If it takes 20 to 25 minutes to drive to the bank from a, what do you think it's going to take to come back? Uh, I'm sorry. I was just yeah. concerned about you. No, I'm still here. Um, I should be home. Okay. I should be home in about, looks like 10, almost 10 minutes. Okay, I'm on hold. Totally not to worry. Yeah, Maybe don't worry. Don't, don't worry. I would, I, if, if, I, if I see we're hanged up, I will call you back as fast as possible. Okay, bro, I'm pulling into my apartment. Okay, as you said to me that uh, you have that cash at your home. And yeah, I have gonna, it in a safe. You want to pay me through the cash, right? Yeah, if there's a way I can do it. Besides Bitcoin, okay. I will. All right, all right. But the thing so. is that, sir, uh, for today now, just for today, I just want you to give us only $5,000. No, it has to all go back. It, it, it all has to go back. Um, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not, I, I don't want to be sitting in with net positive like that for too long because 
I get I got mm-hmm. audited by the IRS last year, and they're going to probably audit me again. I need to make this claim. Okay, but the thing is that for today, is it possible for you? So you can do it only for five thousand, and the rest you can do it tomorrow. Is it possible no, can, for you? I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm going to Mexico for several months. Oh. Okay, you were leaving tomorrow for Mexico, right? Yes, yes. My wife and I are, are, it's a combo business and vacation trip. We're going to Mexico. We're trying to branch out into the into, into Central America with our packing and things mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, next, and, next. And, uh, and when are you going to come back from that holiday, uh, from that business trip? Well, it's likely going to be a six-month-long endeavor six or seven months long right we're expanding into we're gonna we're, our target is to get into brazil so i'm basically touring all oh. the way from the top of mexico all the way down through the and, through the central america and then okay. into south america and uh when you are leaving tomorrow sir uh, you're leaving at night or around evening no, we're leaving at 3 a.m to catch our flight at 5 a.m Okay, so that means uh, you're going to fly day after tomorrow, 3 a.m., right? No. So that uh, means you've got only no, one day. No, in, in eight hours, I'm going to be uh, driving to the Salt Lake City International Airport to board a plane. Okay, so that means uh, you are you got only eight hours with yourself, right? Well, realistically, I'm going to want to go to bed at 11 to get some sleep. Okay. Uh, so you were, you were saying to me that time that uh, you're going to send the money through UPS to us, right? Would you do that for us? I don't see why not. I just I've never sent money through UPS. I okay. Wouldn't I'll, know. I'll let you know that what you need to do, okay? I'm concerned about it. That is it any... Apple store or any Target store near to your house or any CVS what? or something? Why? If that store is near to your house, so you would be able to use that cash and you can bring up the gift card for us so we can just I'm not buying get the money gift. through that process. No, that's silly. What are you talking about? Okay, okay, okay. Just just give me five minutes, okay? Five minutes. Yeah, they love, yeah, the two things that scammers love. Bit, uh, three things. Bit, bit, well, cash, four things if you count cash up. They like gift cards. They like Bitcoin. They love Zelly. They love cash app. The, the other, the other refund scammer is trying to call me. Chappie told them I went back to work because I was called. So he's wasting his time. He said, by the time you reach home, bank will get closed. You are a big time effer. And I said, I am at work. Leave me alone. The original scammer expected me to be home by 4 p.m. or 6 p.m. Eastern to go to the bank. So at 2 p.m., I sometimes will call the scammer to remind them that I'm going to be off in two hours. But his phone number was was disconnected. So I called the main number and talked to the guy I'm now with. His name's Kevin Thompson, and he told me the original scammer was fired. So at 4 p.m., I called the new scammer, and then the old scammer suddenly started calling me again, and he hasn't stopped. Meanwhile, are you there? Chappie right. called the original scammer and got another mule. Hello. So we've scored two mules so far. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Um, do you want me to just wrap it with bubble wrap and then put it in the box? No. No. First, you do one thing. First, grab some uh, paper or newspaper, what you have. Do you have a uh, uh, used T-shirt which you wear? Do you have a T-shirt? Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah, normally we donate it to the Salvation Army. I can grab a, a an old flannel, uh, an old T-shirt. Okay, first, do one thing. At the bottom of He's that box, yes, you need to, uh, you can just put an underwear or anything, any clothes. Do you have any 
any cloth you can put at the bottom of that of that box well okay just judging by the size of the box i can get away with a flint of a, a, a t-shirt you okay. you can do it perfectly you can just make it a packet for yourself Jappy is bringing up underwear because I did send a box that I put, it was clean underwear. It was underwear that I no longer needed and it was clean and I packed up it into a box. And when Trilogy got back to their hotel and they opened it, they said, they're like holding it with a stick. <laughs> it was funny. One few uh, fall that money in the bubble wrap, you need to do one more important thing. Like before wrapping it through the bubble wrap, you need to wrap it through an aluminum foil. Do you have that? Do you have yeah. that foil at your home? Yeah, of course. We, okay. we use it for okay. cooking. Wrap the money with that aluminum foil and then try to wrap it with the bubble paper. And at the end, you can just wrap that money with the t-shirt, right? Okay. Okay, do you have some small books at your home? That are uh, old gonna, books which you don't... There's not going to be any room. There's not going to be any room for a book in this box. But there's not going to be any room. In, okay. First, you right. do one thing. Just arrange the whole amount and keep it aside. Okay, and once you keep it aside, just do let me know. Let me know. I'm going to wrap each of the three stacks in tinfoil with a little bit of the... 4,500 intermix, so there'll be three stacks wrapped. I'm not going to wrap it with bubble wrap. I'm going to put the shirt in the box, put the bubble wrapped cash that is covered in tinfoil, and then cover it with the rest of the t-shirt, and then close the box and tape it shut. Just separate the cash and do let me know because my manager is concerned about the situation right now. He want to talk to you, okay? So okay. just please give me only one minute. Okay. Can you see a call is coming into your phone, sir? Yeah, that's that's this other person. Uh -huh. That one you said was fired. He keeps trying to call me. Okay, you did you block them? No, I can't block them until I reset my phone. So all I can do is ignore them. Oh yes, just ignore them, okay? Because I am giving you my manager number right now, okay? okay. What? And he said to me that you are a very good person and he's right. just going to leave this call from now onwards and he's simply going to do everything and tell take him, our money back, okay? Tell him I'm going to call him from my other cell phone because that, that, I'm going to oh. turn that, I'm going to turn this phone off and call him from my other cell phone. Yes, sir. You were talking to one of our representatives just before me. Yeah. What is your name? My name is Jason, sir. Um, while we dilly dally... Time is running out. Do you want me to pack it up the way that Kevin told me? Well, sir, you see, there's a small problem. Our logistics department will be closed for the next two days. So if you send the money to the UPS, we won't be able to receive the funds. So we would be requesting if it would be better and if it would be possible for you, you do it through the uh, UPS machine uh, i mean the bitcoin machine so that we can receive okay. the funds i I, 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 I have to be fair i told kevin if you guys mention bitcoin one more time i'm hanging up and not answering the phone again i gotta be honest i understand I, I, that sir. you I've say been, i've been already you told say, that you say I've bitcoin been told that. you say bitcoin one more time i'm keeping all the money just a moment sir i, I understand that i really respect what you're trying to tell me now no, your logistics I'm the line for a moment. Your logistics department. Um, this isn't an issue of sending money to a logistics department. This is getting money back to your bank. That's correct, sir. But when you're sending money through the UPS, it's not straight away going to our bank, right? There's of a course. department for every right. Why so would they be closed? Why would they why would they be closed on Wednesday on Wednesday and Thursday? That's ridiculous. Well, they're not usually closed on Wednesday or Thursdays or during the weekdays, but there's been some problems because of which the logistics department will remain closed for the next two days. So all so of Geek Squad is all of Geek, all of Geek Squad is down. Seriously. I understand what you're trying to tell me, sir, but uh, since there has been a problem, that's why I'm telling you. Otherwise, why would I unnecessarily tell you not to do it through the UPS, whereas 
uh, we were the only one who suggested you to do it through the UPS initially, right? What if I ship it standard? It'll take five days. Well, we cannot wait for that long, you see. I can send it on three day. Um, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me talk to them. Would you please stay on the line? And yeah, I can I'll stay. Just have a quick word with them. Yeah. They don't have anyone is what's happening. Yeah, they're talking to the mule manager. I just had a word with my uh, team, with the logistic team and the manager there. And uh, since it's about money and there's a lot of money, $35,000, so they do not want to risk it. There's a possibility that the money might get lost in the way. So then later on, we don't want to blame you that you did not send us the money if it gets lost. That's the reason the logistics department doesn't want to take any risk about it because it's, it's money that you're sending in the box, right? It's not okay. any other thing that it... Okay. So how do you want me to do it then? That's the reason they want to avoid doing it through the UPS. And anyways, our logistics department is down for the next two days. And even if it resumes tomorrow, probably, hopefully, even okay. then they do not want to risk because it's about money and there's a lot of money. It's $35,000, right? You do not want to do it through the Bitcoin, right? Okay, he's done. That tells me the other scammer is not going to have an address either. But he did give us one, but it's a meal. I told you, mention Bitcoin and I will hang up. Hello? I'm extremely sorry, sir. I, that was not my intention. I was just asking you. I'm not going to mention that word anymore. Don't worry. You don't understand. Um, what happened? I, really, I, 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 I really sent... I lost thirty thousand dollars putting putting dollars into a Bitcoin machine to go into my Bitcoin wallet. I never got it back. I will never ever do that again. So don't even mention it. Um, I'm extremely sorry, sir. I'm extremely sorry. You should I be. You I'm not gonna. Well, the other way, and unfortunately, the only way that we see in front of us right now is with the help of gift cards. Is that would be convenient for you. Now, this is what we're going to do, okay? Tomorrow, I'm going to go to my bank and pull out the money that you guys overpaid me. I'm going to put it in my safe. When you finally get an address for the logistics, at that point, I will send it to you. Oh, wait a minute. I have to wait. I can't, no, I'm going to have to wait. My bank's frozen anyways. So... That money is not going anywhere anyway. We can wait two days. But you told us that you won't be here tomorrow. No, what I'm thinking is, is, is if, if, if you're willing to give us it in two days, I could turn this over to one of my coworkers. Her name's Mary. All right. So uh, what if our logistics department uh, resumes tomorrow, uh, if it gets back to work tomorrow or day after tomorrow? Uh, would she be able to do the UPS tomorrow on your behalf? Yeah, I, w I would tell her. I'll say, Mary, I got a task for you. She'll do my bidding. Uh -huh. She has to. Would it be safe for you to hand over $35,000 cash to Mrs. Mary or Miss Mary? Dude, I've handed her Three over two. I've handed over 200000 to her to go and transport it across town and put it into Zion's bank. Of course I trust Mary. Great, great. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, guide you with the instruction how you need to pack it up. You just I already know. Over to I already know how to pack it. I already know how okay. to pack it. All right, okay. So uh, I'll tell you how you're going to pack it in a better way so that it makes sure we make sure that the money doesn't get lost in the way, okay? I'm going to pack it the same way I packed $200,000 and had Mary take it over to another bank across the valley. It's not that hard. I didn't use tinfoil, no, but this time I will. You understand what is a safe box? Oh, uh, well, I have one. I can use the one I have. It's a, it has a four key code. Right, you have to, it has a four digits you have to tap. Exactly. That's the one I want you to use. What you can do is you can put it in that box, enter your key combination, 
and you do not have to uh, give us the combination neither you have to give it to your uh, Mary, okay, you don't have to give the combination to anyone to make sure that nobody opens it while it's in transit, okay? When we'll be receiving the box at our logistics department, we'll ask our people to break open the box and then the money will be there and it will be safe, absolutely safe. Okay, okay, okay? yeah, that can be done. That can be done. Just call, text me tomorrow if you're ready to do it. If, if, if it's not tomorrow, text me and say we'll do it uh, Thursday, okay? Okay, all right. I'll text you whatever you're gonna have. To I, do. I need the just ad. I need you to text. You need to text me the address. Yeah, I'll text you the address, and I'll also text you when you're gonna have to ask Miss Mary to do it. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I'll, I'll await your text, and then I'll have Mary send it as soon as I get it. Hi, this is Mary. A lovely. Yeah, yes, Mary. This is Kevin. How are you doing today? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. A little bit busy, but uh... All right. I really do apologize for the inconvenience which you just faced right now. All right. Yeah, yeah Walter so asked me I'll... to give you a call. Okay. So I was just concerned about that. Uh, what is the best time to give you a call back tomorrow so we can discuss that thing? That yeah, uh, how could you send yeah, he, the parcel? Yeah, he asked me to send it. I'm going to go tomorrow at lunch, and I will, uh, he said something about the tracking. So when I get back tomorrow, mm -hmm. I will reach out to you on this number. My okay. name is Kevin Thompson, okay? Okay, Kevin. So, uh, so you want me to give you a call back tomorrow around 1, or are you going to give no, me a call back? I'll, I'll call you when I get back. Okay, so once you get the, pra once you get the package with yourself, to give me a call, okay. all right? I'm gonna wait for your call. Okay, and... no worries. Okay. All right, thank you, Kevin. So, take care. All right, You're bye -bye. welcome. Take care of yourself. God you bless too. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello? Is this Kevin? Mom, I... yes, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, let me tell you, as you told me that Brandon need to show his ID on that, yep. the Walmart, right? As you tell me, right? Yep. But uh, Brandon is not available. Okay. Well, then who's going to who's going to meet them? His family member. His who? family member is going to, to receive that. I need that. an ID. I need an ID. You need an ID. That family member, right? Yep. Okay. So uh, I'm just uh, if I give you the name. Yeah. That is okay for you. I will call the carrier and ask if it's okay. Okay, for, uh, first of all, you ask your courier no, no, man. No, 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 uh, no, you give me the name and I'll call and ask. I'm not going to be calling you. I'll give him you the that. name. Okay, what okay, is I'll, it? Okay, I'll send you the name. So, Brenda is not <laughs> available tomorrow. That's the reason Doesn't Luke is like going it. to receive that parcel. I'll ask them. I'll, I'll, I'll call you. I'll let you know. Okay, just and, tell and, me. It might be too late because you gave me the name today. Okay, it might be too late, no problem. Just tell me the convenient time, like after 2, like 3 o'clock no, or I 4 o'clock. No, I'm, what I'm saying is the box is already gone, right? So if the carrier says no, you told me, Brandon, I can't change it without you signing a document, then you got to wait for Walter to get home from vacation. Because no, I asked you, tell, I asked it's you my today. Humble request. I, I don't care, I don't care. Jimmy, no, I don't, there no, is a I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. I there is a problem, Miss Mary. Listen to me. God will listen see to everything. Listen the way, to me. The way listen you are to me. Listen to me. me. Listen to me. Listen to me. As I you know that God is me, very big. Listen to me. Listen to me. Are you done talking? Okay, I'll listen to you. Okay, so I'll listen to you. All right, then shut up. Okay, I asked you today the name because I had to approve that. Okay. I approved Brandon. That's why I asked. And you I the told name. you to go to the UPS, and you not came... the Korean. All right, I told you to All go right, to the UPS. Wait. I think we should just wait. Okay, go ahead. Um, you want me to tell Walter to do it when he gets home? Or no, go ahead. Go ahead. I will call the courier and see if it's okay to change it without me signing the paperwork. If he agrees to it, I'll I'll let you know and tell you exactly everything. I need to. He'll he'll probably want Luke's phone number, so that if he doesn't find him, he has somebody to call. Okay. Okay, so I'll give you uh, my person number, right? No, I said Luke's phone number. You're not meeting him there. Luke is. Okay, so try to look his phone number and tell them that if the Brandon is not coming, 
give the parcel to the other man, Liu I will Qi. ask him. I don't tell people. See, that's not the way people operate in the world. You don't just okay. tell people what to do. There's a business. I had to All sign. Right. I and told the... them this was very important, mm -hmm. and it had to be signed for by Brandon. That's why I asked you today. Now, can I say something, Miss Mary? Go ahead. There is a big problem. That's the reason I call you at 20 to 25 times. Yeah, I, I don't know. have, I'm not a stupid person that I call you in a 20 to 25 times. I don't know about okay? that. There was a problem, ma'am. You have to understand my situation. Why didn't you tell me well. the problem then? All you did was harass me. You never sent me a text that said, hey, I have to change the person's name. Right? That That's no. ignorant. All you had to do was text me and tell me that. Then I would have known. Now, can I say right? something? All you had to do okay. was text me and tell me that. All right, I got to go. I'm going to call the carrier and see if it's okay if I change the name. Can I say something? Can I say something? It doesn't really matter. I will call you back or I'll text you if it's okay, okay to change the name. Okay? Yeah, I'm just waiting for your call. Idiot. 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 So I sent it through a courier. A friend of mine owns a courier business. And, okay. And he's, but the problem is he's doing me a favor because he already had a route that was full and he said he's going to be in that area. I gave him the package and I said, I will call you and let you know if you can meet them. So the courier wants, because I can't add it or he'll get in trouble, he's doing me a favor. He's going out to that area uh, tomorrow already. So he said, if your person can meet us at, he gave me an address and I'll give it to you. Then all he has to do is bring a license and sign for it. And he's all set. He's good to go. Uh, but I can't, I can't go to his, I can't, he can't add on another home. So I can't, he's not going to the house. He's already got my box or Ray or, or uh, Walter's box. I really got your words, Miss Mary, what you're trying to say. But the thing is that uh, my manager will not be available at his house. Okay. We're not going to the right. house. So that is the reason I've sent, I've sent you the address so you can send the parcel over there. Ma I just said no to that address. He, somebody has to sign for it. So if he can't go meet this person, I'll give you the address that the carrier gave me. He's adding it on. Then we, we can't do it. You have to wait for him to get back from vacation. So is it possible for you so you can take the parcel back with yourself? Nope. Nope. Okay. No, it's already gone to it's already headed to California. If you can't if the guy can't meet him here, whoever your boss is supposed to meet them to sign for the package, then you're gonna wait for Walter to get back from vacation. That's the only thing I could do. So I'm gonna send it to you right now. Let mm -hmm. me know if he can be there at, somebody can meet him there at two o'clock. They have to sign for it, they have to have an ID. I really got your words that what you're trying to say. It's your only choice. Here it is. I'm putting it in the... You tell me now. If you if you can't do it, just let me know. And uh, we'll wait for him to get back from vacation. Okay, so the thing is that, Mary... Uh... Okay, you're going to wait then? No, no. I just want to ask you. The thing is that I need to confirm with the manager as well that he, was, he will be available or not. All right? Yep, that's the address. It, he said it's a... Uh, he will meet him outside the Walmart. I'll give you the, ca the uh, phone number of the driver. He said, I'll be standing outside of Walmart at two o'clock. If you want, uh, the guy has to have an ID. He has to sign for it and then he can do the delivery there. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait for him to get back from vacation. That's your only choice. Okay. You, you do one thing. Okay, you do one thing first, ma'am. Uh, okay. Just send me the location and I the number did. of the person. I already did. I'm not sending you the number. I'm giving you the location at two o'clock tomorrow. The courier will be there. Uh, I can tell him to stand outside the Walmart door. He'll be there. He'll have the truck there, and he will be standing there with a clipboard. If you can't go, you just need to tell me so I tell the courier to hold it until uh, until Walter gets back from vacation. Okay, so can you please tell me, ma'am, uh, how much time it's going to take him to come back from the vacation? Four months. Four months? Yep. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's your choice. I just no. gave it to you. Uh, it's a Walmart. Let me know. If so, I'll let the driver know. Okay. So the thing is that, ma'am, what I'm trying to tell you... you only, it's your only that... choice. Don't, you don't have to tell me anything. This is your only choice. Okay. If he can be there at 2 o'clock, let me know. If he can't, we're waiting for him to get back from vacation. 
Okay. Okay. I got your words. Okay, thank can you. Can I say something if you don't mind? It, it Just give matter. me one minute. I'm not listening to anything but this. He can be there or not. Yes or no. Mary, for that, I need to talk to the manager. As okay, well, then let me know. That's what I'm trying to tell you, ma'am. There's no, nothing the else to talk will about. Not be right. Available then you there. wait for him to get back on vacation. That's it. I already told you the options. So the parcel is going to nope. come to you? Nope. You got to wait for him to get back on vacation. No, no. I'm, I'm You're going to wait for him to get back on vacation. Doesn't matter what I'm happens. It doesn't come. matter. It doesn't matter. This is your only option. It doesn't matter where where the package goes. I have it on a truck right now. He will meet him at this Walmart. I need to let the courier know. Otherwise, I'll tell him don't bother stopping. I don't need the favor. Okay, okay. I'm going to give you. Send me yes or no. It's only at 2 o'clock. He said that that's the only time in his schedule that he can stop there. And it's on his way to his next location. So the thing is that I have sent you the address, but you have Okay, so no? So we can't go? No. Okay, then gonna wait four months. Okay, I'll let Walter know. Bye. Ma'am, 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 ma listen, listen, listen. I don't play games with scammers. I don't negotiate with fucking thieves. Are you kidding me? Be there, and then I... you said he won't be there, and then you said he won't be there. So what are you talking about? No, you have. What are you, you talking firstly, about? What are you talking about? Firstly, you, you gave me the address, me then you called me thirty you times. Want me, you want you me called to send me thirty times, and again. you said I have sent he's not the there. Address, That's right. And then That's right. And then you said he won't problem. be there. You said he won't be there. First, you, you said, said to he me that you have a problem. That doesn't matter. Is he there or not? No. Yeah, you my problem was I was problem. in a fucking ambulance. That's a problem, okay? So you have to tell me that you no, gotta do it tomorrow. No, I don't have to tell you. And I didn't do it tomorrow. It's done. You've got one chance. Luke goes there okay. with an ID tomorrow. Okay, okay, and the, okay. And he okay, signs okay. it. Oh, That's okay, what the carrier knows. The carrier okay, has Luke's phone okay, number. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. I'll talk to Walter. Take care of yourself. Is he going to be there you. tomorrow or not? He's going to be there. All right. All right. And then after, I'm going to talk with Walter. Walter, and I, Walter, and I will do whatever First I feel First of all, like. from now on, Walter <laughs> said he's done talking to you. Do, you. do you think that I only got one phone number with myself? I don't care how many phone <laughs> numbers you got. He's blocked you on all of them, buddy. The, all right. All right. Then you do your thing. I'm so going to do my thing. You're Take Walter's care of friend. yourself. Hold on. Are you Walter's friend or not? I'm his friend, ma'am. Huh. The thing is that you are trying really to be funny. over smart, all right? What does that mean? Which you are what totally the hell does not. over smart mean? What does over smart right? mean? That's not it. Yes. That's not it. Yes. You are trying to be over smart. This makes no sense. Okay? I fucking tried to help this Walter no by getting his you. box to California. You're, you're, you're trying all. to help me like this? No, I'm not trying, trying to help you at all. Like this, I'm not helping you at all. By messing up each and everything? No, no. I told Walter what I was doing, and Walter said, great job. That's what I want you to do. Have it go to that location okay. and tell and tell okay. Kevin okay, that okay. that's where I'll it'll be. To no, okay. you won't. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So he's not Thank going. Thank you so much. So is Luke going or not? He is going. He is going. All right. Can't you make get sure, that? Make sure he, he has an ID. Going. Make sure he has All an right. ID. All right. He is going. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Hi there, I'm trying to reach Kevin. This is Ronnie with Elite Couriers Unlimited, just confirming a delivery as scheduled for 2 p.m. in the parking lot of the Walmart. Um, I will see you there at 2 p.m. Thanks so much. Bitch. Okay, uh, we gotta go. Yep, I um, just got out here. Okay, number one. Of course it doesn't help that both scammers are named Kevin. Um, Kevin one, Kevin two. All right, Kevin. Uh, it's Mary, the co-worker sent so it. Kevin, um, Mary, the one, uh, you, we, we actually Mary friends, be, friend, yeah. because she got in a hospital. Yeah, in, she works in for Mexico. Walter, so, <laughs> okay. It's insane. Okay, uh, calling, calling, saying like, hey, Kevin here, too. package is here, come in, take a picture. Please enter your temporary access code. Hey, Kevin, it's Ronnie with Elite Couriers. I am here at the location at Walmart. Uh, please feel free to call or text me. Um, would like to get this uh, package transferred over as soon as possible. I will be ready with a clipboard at the entrance to Walmart. Uh, give me a call. Thanks. Thanks. So, okay, that's Kevin, so, but he's not the one. John. Right. John. I, yeah, but I don't have John's out. phone number. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
the, the cash in a lockbox. Oh, <laughs> motherfucker. Not choppy. The other fucker. I don't know how you're going to say that I saw a cash in it. Unless it broke. Yeah, damage. It got damaged yeah. in delivery. Yeah. It, right. it got dropped or something. Yeah. Drop me! Red fuckers, I'm out. All right, man. Good luck. See you later, luck. alligators. Hmm. Dildo one. <laughs> yes, Ronnie, hello? Uh, yeah, hello? Ronnie. Yeah, can you hear me? A lovely good day to you, Ronnie. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me, Ronnie? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, listen, I've been staying here already for like uh, 15 minutes. It's such a rainy... I, I, I really do apologize. I really do apologize for that, Ronnie. Please, just give me only five minutes. I just I just spoke with John. Okay. He said to me that he's on his way. He just stuck in the red light. Uh, I, I just said to him that uh, you need to go to the entrance of the Walmart. Yes, that's where I'm staying. The machine. Am I correct? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. That's what you say. Okay. Yes. Just, if there is some important medicine into that parcel. Ronnie, can you please just hold for five to ten minutes? Just five to ten minutes, please. No, I'm just you, calling yes. right now, Okay, correct? sounds good. No problem. I'm gonna be here, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Ronnie. Look, look, he's talking to, or it's talking to a guy. Ronnie? Yeah, are you John? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good day. Um, can I see your, um, can I see your ID? Okay. I have a package for you. Appreciate it. Um, and if you can sign, please, right here. Okay, 12 for nothing. Yeah. yeah, that's Kevin on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Can you see? Hey, Kevin. I see. They want to so you're the one who sent that package, right? Yeah, Kevin. It's a lot of money. It's like what? Forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars cash on it. Why did you send? Why did you send John to pick it up? You know, like it's a, it's illegal. It's a money from victim. The money that you stole from victims, you sent John to pick it up. Illegal money. This money came out of the pocket of an elderly victim of a refund scam from Geek Squad. That's, you know uh, what? Do you know what you're involved in? That's actually not Kevin that I just talked to on the phone. A different guy? It's a different guy, it's a different yeah. voice. Do you know this guy? Someone's calling. Somebody's calling me. Oh, this is just my friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not involved. Okay. okay. This is a sting operation. We are an organization that chases down scammers and exposes money rules. So the, the package you were told to pick up contains $40,000 in cash. Answer, it's probably... Answer. This is not him. This is somebody else. Hello? Put on the speaker. Hello? Yo, Colin. What's going on? Bro, I, this dude actually sent me to pick up some scam money. This is illegal criminal activities that you can go to prison. He has nothing to do with this. this is... No, I know, but how did you... How did you come across with Kevin? That guy just told me, hey, you're here in the cabin. I can how do you know about it? It's supposed to be a cause, brother. Why would you have yeah. to pick up a package? I didn't, I'm not involved in... Yes, you are involved because you can't pick up the illegal cash, $40,000. I didn't know. I didn't know. I have no clue. They, they already give you the passport no. for that locker box. And you just look. give me that passport. Look. Show me the messages. I see you guys with cameras. I'm like, what is yeah, this? We, yeah, we press. We're independent journalists. And we chasing all these cameras and illegal uh, I'm money. I'm not involved in any of that. Okay, I want to see those mess messages. You have a family, you have a baby? Yeah, he just said this, he said this. He's standing Show me the beginning. All of this is crazy. It's all right. It is crazy. Come down, okay? Come down. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, whoa. If we're, not, we're, listen, not, we're not blaming listen, you. I don't want to get a word to Can you call the person that told you to pick this package up? Come here, because it's raining. Come here. Yeah, but I mean, all of this on camera, this thing. I'm, hey, I'm listen. We're not blaming you. We're Wait, for our protection. Okay. It says nothing, yeah. See, he's not can, answering now. Talk to me. What's going on? Why did you send John? Why did you send him? Somebody just said they needed something picked up. Who? 
Yeah, I'm not informed. In it's okay. It's okay. That's all right. It's all right. Yeah, talk to me. Because like John can be in trouble. He's like becoming a, he's becoming a unknown um, cash mule. You know that? You know that's a, you know that's illegal. There is nothing. It's just only silly. Do you know that? Nah, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody just said they needed a package picked up and they're gonna pay. Who said that? But who said that? Somebody from online, bro. From online? Okay. Yeah. How did you how did you came across of that person? There was just well, online, like on Telegram, man. Okay. Okay, it's okay guys. It's okay. Let's figure out these. So it's a telegram group? Yeah, yeah. Somebody was online on Telegram and they just said that they wanted what you call it. They wanted a package picked up. We follow it. All right, so what was the cut? How much did they promise you? Because we've been doing this for a decade. We know there is a cut. How much did they promise you? They was just going to give us a couple hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I, I know it's not a couple hundred dollars, but usually they do like 10, 15 percent cut from every single package. It's a $40,000 package. Yeah, I didn't know what was in it, man. I didn't know how much they was going to They were just going to pay us, bro. We just meant to deliver the package. All right, can you give me, uh, can you give me the contact of that person that you find on Telegram group? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, whatever. I'm, 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 I'm if, if you got, if you can text that uh, to John to your buddy John, I will be appreciated because that Kevin, like you're not Kevin. What is your, what is your real name? Bro, I don't know about that, bro. Uh, yeah, I ain't got no real name. All right, you have no real name, okay? But you talk to Kevin, right? He goes by name Kevin. Very imperative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just spoke to him on the phone. He lives in India. To help, like, clear your name, and so we can. He's not even in the United States. He lives in India. All right, bro. I'm gonna have to hit you back later, bro. Well, just wanna let you know, all stuff that you guys doing, this is illegal, and you guys, you you could have like. Instead of us, it could have been FBI, and you could have put John, who has kids, you could have put him in prison. You know that? Yeah, I'm not involved. Right? Uh, well, you have to apologize to your friend. You know, since you're friends, don't send your friend next time to the sting operation if you don't if you don't want him to be in prison. Yeah, I even told him I was like, Yo, you you sure this is not nothing illegal? Chappy, my associate Chappy on the line. Uh, I'm standing here with John. Um, it's uh, please. Yeah. Okay. Hey, John. How are you? This is uh, this is Chappy Gray. I say, now I work as an organization that goes after online scammers, and we protect the elderly people. Yeah. When you see a scam going down, we stop it. Mm -hmm. I am responsible for reporting everybody to the feds that they could call. So yeah. what we're doing today is I ask Trilogy Media to step in so we can get more information. Mm -hmm. So. What they were saying is, initially, what what could have happened today is instead of them being there, I would have had the fact that Fez, yeah. Because what's her name? Okay. Chappie. Hey, Chappie, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not involved in any of that. Like, I just got a call from a friend. He said, hey, can you pick this up? First thing I asked him was like, this is not illegal. There's no weapons. In. It's like, yeah, because this friend that call me all the time. Hey, I shit the package out. This is California. You know, most of the freight comes out here. Mm -hmm. And then, boom. I, there was no cut involved, nothing like None of that. Well, your friend said it was a card involved, a couple him. hundred dollars to him. Yeah. But he. That, does that even does that make sense? Would I, you think I would do something like this for a hundred? Like no. Well, I know it's not a couple hundred bucks, but you could have got you. you you're not saying you're not hundred percent clear with us, and I totally get it. I see your. I, I, mean, I see. You see I, like, I see I'm your like, weaselly eyes. There is a cut. You, you, look, you, there is a cut for you. There is a cut for your friend. There is a cut for everybody from every single package. The person getting paid for it. What I'm trying to tell you is that somebody just told me, a good friend of mine, I've known that guy for 10 years, he just said, hey, can you pick this up? And I'm like, why not? Well, that guy could have get you as in Now I see that. You now know? you understand that? Now I understand. And that's your friend for 10 years? Yeah. Maybe you should dump that friend. I mean, I mean, I didn't even know it was going to be this. Like, I thought it was just picking up a package and meeting somebody. Because I do have friends that aren't involved in this. They'll just say, hey, I ship like a VCR there. Could you... Do you have a um, day job? Do you have like? Yeah, I have a job and everything. That's a, this is this is like I'm not involved in any of this. Can we get your friend that you know for ten years? Can we get his contact? Yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, that's him calling. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hang on, chat. Hang on, chat. Yeah. 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 He's still with us. Okay. Wait. I'm about to send you all the link right now. But uh. What link? Uh, what were you guys saying again? What link you said? I'm gonna send you another link. What link you gonna send to him? 
the, the link that you the, the, the telegram okay yeah send that link we want to see it yeah please do I just wanted you to understand where it works. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like, because I'm not even. Oh, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. can you send? Can you? You said this was what again? The what was it? This is no, they're not cops. They're just like, they do documentaries on this. We type work with the media. If you're willing to give us your contact info, I'd love to talk to you at another time when, when the uh, tensions are less. They um, do this to basically like reduce scammers. We go after scammers and this was a sting operation. So whoever initiated this is a scammer using a bunch of other people as money mules to launder and steal money from elderly people. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And it starts in India, so it doesn't even start here. But yeah, it, yeah, they yeah, use I get people. It. So, I, I, I know what this so, is. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm not involved. So, can you, can no, I, I see that link? Yeah, well, let me just make you understand something. We're not just here as the media to just film and have fun. Everything that we document gets reported to the feds. The reason that we show up here and ask people questions is to get their side of the story. So your side right now is looking pretty damn guilty. So we're either gonna run with what we got and report it and the rest goes up to the uh, way above our heads or you can work with us and we can try to make sense of this. Which one's it gonna be? Tommy, I sent you a leak, fam. All right, yeah. open the link. I'll send, I'll send you guys the link. Okay. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, All right. I didn't, I didn't expect this to be in this. It's all right, no, I, I understand. I thought this was a regular just like, right. well. Because oh, he's not in the state. The, the, so, the regular I mean, stuff no, happens understand. all the time, and it's people losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Today I mean, it was supposed to be 40 grand, stolen from an old lady named Jennifer, or Mary, actually. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. Because um, I'm not part of it. John wants to leave. Uh, his friend's going to send him the link to a Telegram group. No, I want that link right now. I'm trying to get it. Hey, I see. Just send me the link so I can give it to him. I'm going to get a picture of the link. No, it's gonna be easy like this. Dude, you've done this fucking before. Who me? Yeah, you fucking done this before. No, yeah, you fucking done this before. Now I'm not. Yeah, here. yes you are. You fucking done this before. I, I see it. I saw everything. I just opened the link. Yeah. Now the the previous messages. I need to pay rent. You just make the whole month of rent. Fucking open up again. What? You've done this before. Who are you talking about? Right. Yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know hey, what you're AC? talking about. AC, AC, you guys been Did fucking, you guys, you guys been fucking shady. You, know, I, I you mean, guys I been fucking know. shady, both of you. You've been, you've, you've done this before. I've not, I've never yeah. done this. Before. I, I read, the, I read, I read the messages. Yeah. This is how you make, you, this is how you make a living. Hey, it was nice to meet you, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never done this. I know he's probably, he's a little more aggressive about it. No, 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 you've done this before. Either AC have done this before or you've done this before. That was a group he just saw where people were saying this. I don't do this. Okay. You can check, you wanna check my record? You wanna check my record? We will check your record. The not, record. not us. But yeah, somebody else gonna check the record. Send it up to whoever. They're gonna see I have a clean record. Then huh? you have nothing to worry about. That's yeah. fine. You have to, okay. Uh, Chappie, it's, it's, it's wrapping up. It's yeah, it's wrapping up. Let's go. It's, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting hostile. Uh, we're just waiting to see where what he goes. What is that kind of fucking wandering. message when he said, I punched, I punched a bad ass $1,900 rent. Hold on, we're still watching him, Chappie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. He's on the phone. You know, it, it was getting hostile. He was, he was like, it was borderline getting to the point where like he, we, he was thinking we were holding. Oh, sorry, that's his car. Well. That's his car. Got it. Okay, got it. And I have a driver license of him. You got it. And it's Texas. Yep. Great. I got all his shit on my camera. Awesome. And when I st started scrolling more up and up, oh my God, we're gonna. I made a video. Yeah, we're gonna. We have to go through. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, he's driving off. Yeah, he's um, driving off, but we definitely. Um, yeah. No, he, his hands were sh like. Um, get my hands on the link because they'll probably try to shut that down. So. There is Wells Fargo bank accounts. There is the owner's name. They they, they give instructions yeah. what to do. Cash out it, straight to the bank. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a whole thing. Uh, send her all those photos. Yep. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh, and fucking, I forgot. Uh, uh the other fuckface. Uh, was calling yeah, him. that was not Kevin. He was like, I'm talking to Kevin. I was like, you're not talking yeah. to Kevin. I just talked to Kevin with Indian accent. This is not Kevin. This is AC. He's your local uh, buddy. So Kevin too. Ronnie, I believe he reached there. Once you hand over the parcel, are you there? He, okay, so I think we're, I'm going to call Ronnie back right now. All right, Ronnie, I'm sorry. Uh, Kevin back. Wait, you're Ronnie. I'm Ronnie. Sorry, I'm calling Kevin. I'm going to call Kevin back because he's blowing me up. And we'll, uh, we'll uh, you know, come through. Because, I mean, he's going to find out right now anyway. So uh, let's, let me call Kevin and then call you back. Was he was like, this is my buddy for 10 years. Well, your buddy, fuck you up. Your partner is more aggressive, but I'll let you know I'm not, I'm not part of this. I'm not a part of this. I fell into a good cop this time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call fuckface. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we can just yep. have fun with this. Yeah, let's do it. 
<laughs> we're like fucking juggling 69. Can you uh, record? Yes, yes. Extra. We should have actually moved from this parking lot. It's okay, we'll move right now. He was such a polite to me, Kevin. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry for waiting you, um, make you wait. It's raining, I heard in LA. Well, I'm sorry, it's red light. He's coming right now. Fucking hyena. Kevin? Hello. Hey. Yes, did you give him the parcel to John? Well, John showed up um, and uh, we opened the box together and uh, we saw that there was uh, cash in there. So I told John to fuck off and I'm just gonna keep it. What? You heard me. What did you say? It's like 40 grand, it looks like, right? Ish, ish. So John and I opened the box. Open. I didn't know there was cash in it. Uh -huh. So we're, uh, you know, we kind of had a tussle. We went a little mud wrestling naked. I told him to fuck off, and then I'm gonna keep the money. Oh baby, I wanna spend it. Why? It's forty grand. Why not? This is not your money. I'm gonna. It is now. It is not my money now. I'm his side chick. I wanna spend it I already, all. I already spent half of it. She's Natasha here. is here. Oh. Kevin, stop scamming people, you fucking asshole. We're on to you, bitch. You are with John? Huh? Yeah, I'm with John. He just ran off with his tail between his legs. Yeah, he was running away, his dick got cut off. You just got Trilogy Media, what is it? You just got Trilogy media Trilogy media idiot. It's a bit of a tongue twister, we're still working on it. Yeah. But how do you, wait, does it sound good? What do you think? Should I trademark it? Do you understand what's happening, Kevin? Your empire is crumbling. No, no. Yes, yeah, we're gonna, yeah. we just fuck you up. Your 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 mules are disappearing. They're dropping like flies. Respond that money back to me. No, I'm gonna keep it. Can you tell me where is John? He he ran. I told him to leave. He's gone. Because we saw there was cash. So we did rock paper scissors, and I won. And I said, get the fuck out of here. No, actually, we show him our big dick, and he he got scared because he's you know he's unconfident, and he's like, oh that's, wow. That's another version of the story. Take whichever one you prefer. John is with you at the moment. Not anymore. No, no, no that's it. There is no more John. We just talked to John. Dude, this is Trilogy Media. Google us, bitch. We chasing scammers. And we're on to you. Yeah. So maybe two and two will come together in your stupid head. There is no cash mules for you. There is no fucking victims for you. There is no 40K for you, idiot. You'll see our picture if you go in the dictionary under your worst fucking nightmare. Try that. Or dictionary.com if you got fingers. You are talking to, are talking to me? Yeah. Who else am I talking to? Your mom? I did that last night. 40 hey. grand is mine. Hey, listen to me. Go fuck Where is John? Where is John? He's gone. Call him. I don't know. He's probably a Chuck E. Cheese. No, he's changing diapers right now. Ra raise his sorrows. What? John is with you right now. Oh, no, my are God. You, are dude. you stupid? How, he, how a stupid person like this can put like a fucking scam like dude, this? Dude, you got shit for brains. And you run a, a, a money laundering empire? What the fuck? Oh, you were trying... You are trying to grab John, right? I'm not trying to do anything. I'm taking your money and breaking down your empire one mule at a time. And it's working. How does that make you feel? Does it make you feel tingly? Kevin, you just got annihilated. Benchot, you got scammed. Scammer got scammed. Oh my God, what a glorious fucking day. Fuck, guys. And we're supposed to have zero with great ending. It was two confrontations at the end. Yeah, let's get out of this parking lot. As uh, soon as you made contact, your message to me said her. So I told them, oh, it's a woman. Oh, no, because I was typing so fast because he was like into me. He was on the phone with the guy and I was like, oh. Yeah, it was just typing it. Oh my God, we got them good, guys. Oh, you motherfuckers.